uh, just uh, getting ready to do some work in my car, and I want to cover a couple of things first uh, before I get started, and, and that is around safety. Uh, just please be very careful when you're working on cars, especially, you know, there's, there's just lots of areas that that uh, can cause problems. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is, uh, you know, never d depend upon your jack to hold up a vehicle, get you some jack stands, uh, make you get you a wheel chock to hold the front of the back tires. I use one, you know, if you want to use multiple, that, that certainly very for safety. Um, you know, hearing, hearing protection, especially if you I certainly want eye protection uh, as well at all times, and, and gloves. Uh, I use these nitrate throwaways, and I'll usually put a, uh, another pair on with them just to... Uh, today I'm getting ready to uh, replace uh, pretty much everything in the front end on my 2003 uh, Expedition. Uh, she's got about 219,000 miles on it. Great car, best vehicle I've ever owned, and uh, so I'm just going to... Uh, Bruce up some things. I noticed that some uh, joints that were looking bad, so I'm going to uh, replace them. I'm going to do a uh, upper control arms, uh, ball joint, sway bar links, uh, and both inner and outer tie rod. Also, I'm going to change out the um, uh, struts on it. Uh, placement. But anyway, uh, first thing I'm doing is getting ready to, uh, to jack it up. I have uh, already uh, loosened the lug nuts on the uh, before I start that process and uh, be back with you uh, as, as things move around. It's just me, so uh, again, uh, it's hard for me to work and hold the camera at the same time, so I may do things until you get ready to do something and then I'll show you once I get there kind of thing. But the main thing was these guys were the worst, the upper control arms. Uh, as you can see, the bushings are gone and um, so they're, they've had it. The um, and unfortunately to get this off you got to take this uh, strut rack and spring rack off here um, well I'm not looking forward to that but at the same time down here and I don't know if you can see it or not but right there the bushing for this guy and this other one's the same way uh, is cracked and it's coming loose and unfortunately there's no way to replace that bushing on things you've got to replace the whole strut to do that so so that's uh, what's, what I'm doing, and then, of course, the tie rods. To be honest with you, I don't think they're in bad shape. Uh, that's the one thing that I, I've debated about whether I wanted to do anything with or not, and I'm still debating. Way bar links, are, you know, back here, uh, that's plan on doing as well. I've got a, when I hit a, uh, oh, like a pothole or something, I can hear, I definitely know it's metal on metal somewhere hitting. So, and I've, uh, so anyway, got got everything sprayed down with penetrating oil, kind of letting that work, and then um, I'm going to start by taking the uh, tie rod end off, just getting it out of my way, um, and make it a little bit easier to move, turn these things around, um, and then I'm going to start on this, uh, getting this uh, strut rack out of here, and then once we do that, um, then we'll. All right, just a quick update of where we are. Uh, I have taken off the um, three uh, tower boats up here, and they were a, uh, hang on here one second. They are a, uh, on, on this car, they were a 15 millimeter. So uh, they're not very difficult to get off. Uh, got the tower rod off earlier and using my caliper rack to hold it up out of my way. Uh, taken off the, the big Kamehameha button uh, nut down here, I had to use uh, vice grips to help hold it, keep it from turning, but uh, this came off a whole lot better than I thought it would have came off with my air wrench, so I thought uh, it might be tough because it's a uh, uh, 295 foot pound torque uh, on that bad boy, so I was expecting it to be a whole lot worse than what it was. So, uh, all right, so the next thing now is I'm gonna take all this off and um, get that tower strut out of there all right I wanted to show this real quick uh, I've got everything out you know I put this under here jack under just to hold this lower control arm I don't know that it matters the sway bar is still connected probably not everything's you know still here but just for precaution I did it um, so anyway I'm getting ready to take this uh, strut rack out of here and I just wanted you guys to see that it just slides right out so, on the um, on the on the driver's side, I've got the uh, up control arm on now, and the strut. And 
this you know this guy down here this Kamehameha boat you know it it it, it goes to almost a 300 pound foot torque and that <laughs> I went as hard as I could jumping up and down on it and I don't know that I ever made the dang thing click so I uh, I put thread lock on it, so I hope like heck I got it tight enough, but uh, you know, I did what I could do, and we'll see what happens. I just have to keep an eye on it. Alright, getting ready to go to the other side. Alright, I'm on the uh, passenger side now, and, and I decided to go ahead and at least, at least get the parts replaced that are causing my problems. Uh, as you can see down there, that's all, all falling apart, and then this up here on the upper control on the ball joint is going as well. I just don't think I'll comment real quickly uh, just now getting started on this piece the air conditioning lines are, are going through on the passenger side so that makes that a whole lot harder to get to All right, getting ready to uh, take off the outer tire rod and the inner tire rod as well so I've got to back this off first this nut here and then I'll unscrew this and I'll count the number of revolutions so I know to put it back on with the same count and that way at least the a little bit of a line will be there so when I get rid of carrying it, it won't be quite as bad. And then these guys just have a clamp here and a clamp back in the back and then this boot slides off. So, uh... Alright, got the uh, tie rod off and the nut and so now I'm ready to take this off. And then back here there's a, uh, I don't know what to call it, nut. So I just need to pop that off and then uh, the boot will come off. Alright, I want to try to that you see this this little thing here, this little whatever kind of uh... Alright, so now the uh, got this popped off and again you just put a screwdriver in that little ring right there. And pop it off, it's a single use, you can trash it. And then pull the uh, bellow off. And there we have it, it needs to be cleaned up and re-greased. And... Uh, looks good up in there. The uh, one thing I note on my uh, tie rods, inner tie rods, some of them have a little um, uh, a rivet roll pin, if you will, kind of thing, and helps hold it on. Thankfully, I did not have to deal with those, uh, so mine just screws on and off. But uh, there's all kinds of videos about out there about how to get those things off if you happen to have the ones with the uh, with the rivets. But uh, mine are not, and again, as you can see there. Uh, I say they really don't have any um, any body to them at all. So uh, we get that off, and then um, just gonna have to use my just use a pipe wrench. I tried a couple of the little fancy little gizmos that slide on the end. They wouldn't fit that nut, so I'm just using a pipe wrench, and I'm able to get it up through here, and and it, uh, it comes off. So. All right, I got that. I get cleaned up back there, and a fresh bead of oil around and grease me around the. Um, the rack and um, you know, got it be got this all greased up as well on both ends. And again, I think back there it's just there was a bead already back there, so I just replaced it and uh, put one on here around to uh, keep some of the dirt and moisture out, which you do not want to get into that rack and pinions area. So um, anyway, when you see that, and and by the way, I am just using uh, plain old clamps, hose clamps. Um, to go back there in the back, I do not have the the tool, so we put on the little band that was on there. All right, tie rod rim all buttoned up, um, greased up, and ready to go. So the next thing we'll do now is uh, see if I can replace the um, sway bar links, and so um, just need to. Um, I already got the other side loosened, so I'm going to loosen this side. See if I can do that without having to take this whole thing off. If I had to take the whole thing off, they don't look that bad, so I may just, uh, may just uh, forget about it for right now. The other thing I had that I was going to try to do was this lower ball joint, and uh, I think I'm going to leave that for another day. Uh, just about have my, my fill of this for the day. And, uh, Need to get it put back together so I can go get the front end of the line um, in the morning and um, see how everything works out. Yeah, anyway, see so what I can do with this. Just I said I'm just going to remove these two uh, nuts. Here's one here, There's one at the bottom here that has to come out and see if that thing will move. And if it will, then I'm good. If not, then uh, we're done.